What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the Modern Women Archives. Let's get straight into it. Men have become bored with women. Spreach. Women, you focus on your girlfriends, the car you drive, the house you live in, Facts. the clothes you wear, mm -hmm. your nails, mm -hmm. your hair, mm -hmm. your makeup, all the Botox, all preach. the treatment you do, the fillers, the boob job, the butt tuck, the liposuction, and the list goes on and on. Facts. And the thing is, y'all women do that for you. You don't do that for men. No man is walking around being like, we love BBLs. Let me know in the comments right now, fellas. Would you rather a girl have a BBL or a natural butt? Let me know. And when a man takes you out, you open your mouth and his head hits the table and he goes, shit, not another one. Exactly. Because the thing is, you ladies are so focused on the aesthetic and the superficiality that you forget to do the internal work. Like I always say, your looks get you a ticket to the dance, but your personality is what gets you a date afterwards. No substance. There's no quality about you. Mm -hmm. Your beauty is not there. It's all external and fake. Ooh, she's preaching. There's nothing lovely about you. Men are longing for your beauty, women. The essence of who you are. Mm -hmm. Where is your nobleness? Where is your virtue? Where is your dignity? Where is your adventure? And most of all, where... Oh, these girls are being adventured. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> Lots of adventure going on between those thighs, honey. Trust me on that. Well, most modern women, she belongs to the street. they just belong to the streets, man. They get on social media. They compare their lives. Comparison is the thief of joy. They think, oh, my God, I'm missing out. Oh, my God, this, that, and the third. When it's really not that bad. Get out there. Be fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive. Have no children outside of me and you. And then just be open to have a conversation. Like, it's good for you to look feminine and beautiful and inspirational and, and, you know, be pretty aesthetically. We like that. But at the same time, we don't want all that fakeness. Like, uh, personally, if a girl puts on a lot of makeup, has the cumbrellas, I'm already out. The only way that the world is going to change is if women begin to change. Facts and women got to hold each other accountable. This is an undeniable truth of mm -hmm. dating modern women. They're way too shallow to even date or commit to. Facts. When women changed as a result of the recent wave of feminism, they expected men to change as well. We ain't changing. We didn't. We ain't. We kept our values and decided to go our own way. Mm -hmm. So if modern women want us to court them, they have to change and become worthy of courting. Before, they might have been more worthy, but today they're not worthy any longer. Well, it's hoflation, man, right? And chivalry is dead because women killed it. The only thing they care about is their looks and being the center of attention. Yep. They have no morals, no class, and have lost their caring nature about mm -hmm. them. Everything they say is me, 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 me. And they wonder why men don't want to commit to them. I walked away. Too far now. I mean, they've already taken things to extremes, but why am I seeing women online fake breastfeeding babies just so that they could pull out their boobs, just so that they could show their full boobs and nipples on what? social media? How desperate are you to get some likes? How desperate can you be that you're making a beautiful, nurturing? I've baby? never seen that, but hey, I'm all behind the free the nipple movement. Ladies, you want to go topless? Go for it. <laughs> To something perverted and you know who should be pissed about this mothers mothers should be pissed about this because they're taking something innocent and turning it into something disgusting just for likes just for attention why is instagram allowing this why is instagram allowing for them to have their full-on boobs with their nipples showing and everything breastfeeding fake babies on social media it has come to a new low when is enough enough i can't say i'm surprised though I can't say women will do anything for attention sexually, especially this OF generation. And this includes the older women that are doing it. They will literally do anything, absolutely anything to just slut themselves out. It's absolutely crazy to me. Bring back shaming. Bring it back. Feminists will. Yes, bring back shaming. That's that's what hey, that's what this channel dedicated to. We are shaming the modern women that are trying to shame men. Oh, don't slut shame. No, we should slut shame. Yes. Especially because of reasons like this. This is a prime example of why men... I agree with her a thousand percent. We should definitely slut shame. There's no glory or dignity in being ran through. If my man doesn't like it or agree with it, I'm not doing it. I know. There are Gen Z's out there screaming right now. 
but that's my man that's my fiance that's my best friend that my life partner We're hey i love seeing it each others forever why would i do something that my man doesn't agree with or want me to do oh where things got misunderstood in this generation but your partner is supposed to be above everyone above Facts. everything but why would you do something that they don't agree with or makes them feel uncomfortable they have your best interests at heart so you know it's coming from a good place mm -hmm. when they tell you I don't think you should do that. You shouldn't do it. Do well, understand? here's the thing. Most modern women, they're like, he's insecure. You're like, hey, I don't want you to go to the club because I don't want guys hitting on you. I don't want them slapping your ass. I don't want them putting their hands on you. I don't want them giving you attention outside of something where I can protect you. And they're like, well, Aaron, isn't that, doesn't that mean you're insecure? No. What's more secure? A man setting a boundary and say, hey, I will risk losing you by setting this boundary or a guy that's like, do whatever you want, baby. It's cool. I don't care. <laughs> Like, what's more secure? I mean, keep it a thou wow. What's more secure? The guy that sets the boundaries more secure, duh, because we're fearing losing you. And you gotta set these things in relationships. If your girl's posting a lot on Instagram, make your Instagram private, right? If she used to do OF, stop doing OF. But by the way, don't ever date a girl or don't marry a girl that date OF. But you kind you get the gist of what I'm talking about, right? If you say, hey, I don't want you to go on girls' trips anymore. As soon as a girl's in a relationship, bye bye to Miami trips, bye bye to girls' trips. You're not going on those no more. It's a wrap for you. You're done. You're retired. You're off the streets. Unless you want to go back to the streets. She belongs to the streets. Which you can. You absolutely can. You're free to, but not with me. But you got to set these boundaries because if you don't, women are just going to keep doing it. And then before you know it, she's going to, you know, she, what was it monkey branch over to the next guy? And then you're her ex. And now she's getting her back blown out by the next guy. You got to watch it, man. I understand, like... They have your best interests at heart. Yes. Plain and simple. If my man doesn't like it, I'm not doing it. If he doesn't agree with it, I'm not doing it. Love it. It's out of basic respect in the relationship. I know where things got lost in translation. The fact is, if you're in a committed relationship or marriage with somebody, you care about each other enough to want to make each other happy. Mm -hmm. You appeal to each other's wants and needs. Your girlfriend or wife should be happy to put a smile on your face. Mm -hmm. So if she is doing the opposite of what you desire of her, she is not your partner. Sayonara. She is your enemy. Kick her to with the enemy. Yeah, kick her to the streets, bro. And and to his point, to his point, like if these women ain't got the respect for you to say, you know what, you're right. You know best. I shouldn't be out in these streets, dressed like this, acting like this. Like then dump her, dude. Leave her. There's there's. There's a lot more women out there that are willing to get on your page. Like, why would you ever waste your time with a chick that's not willing to hop on your page and, and do what you want her to do, right? What are you going to do? Keep fighting her? Keep combating with her? Keep going, but like having to go back and forth with her? As soon as, you're go as soon as you're going back and forth with a woman, that's when you're losing, bro. That's when you're absolutely losing. I have been silent for way too long. But I'm done being silent about this. Somebody needs to talk about this, and it's going to be me. Bro, she... Mm, I know she's on our side. I hope I hope she's on our side. But she looks like the villain from C Crash Bandicoot. Shots fired! Shots fired! I, what, I don't remember his name, though. Like if Dr. Robotnik had a niece. Shots fired! Shots fired! I don't know. I love this girl already, but uh, sorry. I just call a spade a spade. There is an egregious double standard right now mm -hmm. with men and women. Uh, yeah. For example, women don't want to be treated badly by men. They don't want to be called names. They don't want to be made to feel like they're worthless. They don't want to made, be made to feel less than. They don't want to have their accomplishments and everything picked apart. They don't want any of that. But they're perfectly okay giving that treatment to men. Mm -hmm. Well, a girl is totally comfortable with calling a man broke. You're broke. And then you ask her, why are you so comfortable calling a man broke? It's supposed to motivate him to go make more money. Stupid. <laughs> are you for real right now? You think shaming us and giving us a hard time is supposed to help? Okay, so shaming's cool. All right, you open the floodgates. All right, you're a big Mac. You're beat to bits. You're beat at best. How about that? You're, you're, you're undateable. You're not marriage material. You would be a bad wife. But I'm the bad guy. Like, come on, dude. If you're willing to call a man broke, be willing for a man to call you a big back and you not get mad. It's supposed to motivate you, right? Yeah. 
We're motivating you. Yeah. You're a big bag. You're a big bag Betty. You're a pity party patty. It's supposed to motivate you. Stop. Just keep it a buck with us. Be feminine, beautiful, inspirational, and we'll give you the time of day. Too often, I am seeing women being unbelievably cruel to men. Mm -hmm. And not only not seeing anything wrong with that, but also getting praised for it by other women. Misery loves company, baby. What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is insults like... Oh, you only have a few years of good hairline left, you know, better play your cards right, or stuff like that. You know, you wouldn't want a man to say you only have a few good childbearing years left. Oh, shots and fired. And furthermore, that really affects me because my brother lost his hair in his 20s. Brutal. And I watched firsthand what that did to him and what that did to his self-esteem it is bad man and i mean i i couldn't even tell him that you know it's gonna be okay like it's not gonna stop you from hey there's a lot of women that like bald men but the thing is these bald men got bags you're not gonna walk around being bald and not have bags and get a baddie uh-uh look at jason statham he's got bags though you know denzel washington bags uh, who else is ball? Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Bags. But his chick, she's not even a baddie. I don't know if you've seen his wife, but uh, she, she's not even fine. She kind of looked like a man. I'm going to give it a buck. But um, yeah, man, dude, I knew guys in high school that were going bald. 18 years old, straight up thinning. I was like, bro. But you know what? It's a good sign because it means you have high testosterone, which is good. Which means, hey, get your ass in the gym, bro. You're probably going to see crazy gains. I've seen dudes that are bald that are straight yoked like a good morning breakfast. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But you got to do something with it. And it, here's the thing, bro. If you are bald, you better grow a beard and you better be buff. You better have some muscle on. You can't be bald headed, bird beak chin with no beard and then not be buff. Like you got, you got to have one of the things. And if you do have, if you do have good hair, like you got to pick one like me, like my hair's a little bit longer, but my beard's shorter. You can't have like a long beard, long hair. Then you're looking like Jesus. Like I had a buddy that was doing that. I was like, bro, you look like a freaking prophet. You got to stop it dating it's not going to stop girls from being interested in you because i knew how cruel girls were being mm -hmm. i knew girls were making comments about men losing their hair and making them feel awful so i couldn't comfort my brother in that way and you want to talk double standards it's absolutely unacceptable for a man to comment on a woman's body in any way shape or form Thanks. but women seem to be quite comfortable commenting on men's height Perfect. And downgrading them for their height and making them feel worse. Degrading them. Worthless for their height. Something they cannot change. Facts. Women will shame you for your height, but at the same time be like, I'm big. I'm a big back beauty. I hate the term. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely hate the term BBW. Big, beautiful woman. No, you're a big back Betty. Shots fired. Shots fired. Lamb. Men also deserve to feel wanted in this world. They also deserve to feel appreciated. They also deserve to not be attacked for things they cannot change. They also deserve to have some respect. See, this is where I'm going to disagree a little bit. I don't think nobody deserves nothing. I don't think none of y'all deserve a damn thing. The universe owes you zero understanding. You have to go out in the marketplace and demand that respect. You don't deserve anything because those are handouts. Deserving things, deserving respect, deserving this. You don't deserve nothing. You got to go out there and earn it. It goes both. It's like respect is earned and rent is due every day, baby. Ways. You want to see change? You're going to have to change first. Women will or we'll just we'll just keep it we'll keep it nice and even keep it nice and fair and uh, you guys won't get mad if we shame you how about that to be the more caring and compassionate gender but those days are officially over they really are they have become cold-hearted and cruel mm -hmm. yet they also in the same breath demand for men to treat them better one of the greatest qualities about women is their ability to soften a man for example when two men are arguing and a woman comes in between them, she is able to diffuse the situation. Mm -hmm. When somebody is injured, a woman is able to bring her feminine touch to inspire healing and comfort. 
Modern women have lost their ability to do those things. Instead, they make arguments worse and increase more pain. True. Well, modern women today have, beca have become the men that they've always wanted to be with. I'll say, it, I'll say it again for the ones in the back. Modern women today have become the men they wanted to be with because they've seen that they, if they go out and earn a good living, they can be independent of a man. They don't need a man, right? I'm solo dolo now. Awesome. I don't need a man. But the thing is, now you have that entire financial burden on your big back. Are you ready for it? Because feminism is very expensive, and a lot of women don't realize that it is very, very expensive. Cat food is expensive. Cat litter is expensive. I'm telling you guys right now, if you don't have stocks in cat food, cat litter, you better start now, buddy boy. Your dog food, start now, buddy boy. Because those stock prices are about to, about to skyrocket. But it, it's so funny to me that these women these days are so comfortable shaming men. Where back in the day, that wasn't the thing. Hoflation is so crazy to me. Where our grandpas didn't have to try near as hard for women. Right. And they got a way quality, but they got the, the quality was way better. You know what I'm saying? Way better. They were fit. They were friendly. They were cooperative. They were submissive. They would give you kids. They, they weren't ran through. They didn't have a bunch of bodies like our grandpas had to pay a much lower price for a much higher value woman. It's crazy to me. But nowadays you want everything in the kitchen sink. And what do I get a ran through teddy bear? Like, come on, you've been used and abused by so many men and I have to come in and pick up the pieces. What do I look like, a kid playing with Legos? I'm not here to do none of that. I'm not here to do any of that. Dating modern women nowadays is like, it's like being a pregnant woman on welfare. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work. And it's sad because there's so many good men out there that just want a woman to be chill with. It's not like us men are asking for a lot. Bro, I can name on basically one hand what all men want. Fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive. That's it. Um, a lot of men are cool, even if you have kids. A lot of men will step up and be a stepdad. They're cool with that. I'm not, but some men are. And I, I applaud those men. I applaud those men. If you're willing to do that and you got a woman that's actually a high-value woman, uh, I don't know if she can be high-value if she got a bunch of kids, but as long as she's a value that you deem is high, that you deem is somebody that's worthy for your time, because here's the thing, bro. Everybody's different. And that, that's something that, like, it took me a while to understand. It's like, you know, we all have our own viewpoints. I have my viewpoints on dating. I have my own viewpoints on the way I vet people, friends, family, dating, relationships. But everybody's a little bit different. And the, tol the, the level of toleration they have for who, the, who they let into their lives is a lot different. For me, my tolerance is very high. I, I got a high tolerance. Um, well, is it, or would it be low? I have a low tolerance. I guess I have a low tolerance because I I'm very picky on the people I let into my life. Very, very, very picky. You got to You got to check a lot of boxes before I'm like, all right, you're my boy. It, it takes a lot because I just don't let people in because I've been disappointed so many times that now I have a barrier up. Now I go, all right, all right, here's the barrier of entry. If you're not willing to meet that barrier, I'm not going to let you in. But modern women these days don't even want to, they don't even want to have to try. They just, it's all me, my, me, 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 me. It's everything is so selfish and everything is so self-centered. And they think, oh, men have to do this and men have to do this. Like, a lot of you ladies don't deserve a six-figure man. Rate yourself one to ten, fresh face, straight out of the shower. One out of ten, you can't use seven, right? A lot of you ladies are fives and sixes at best. But you think you deserve a six-figure earner? Top ten percent of men? Get out of here. You do not deserve that. And here's the thing, the universe deserve, you, the universe owes you nothing. You don't deserve, actually, you don't deserve anything. <laughs> you deserve another guy. This is, why, this is why I made up that quote that life is a mirror, not a window. You attract what you are. If you're a five, you attract fives. If you are a teacher at an elementary school, newsflash, you're going to attract another teacher at an elementary school. And that is your counterpart. And that is your equal. And that's okay. But a lot of ladies will go out there and they make 30 to 50K a year thinking, I need a six-figure man. I need a man that owns a business. Why? You're a regular schmeg. Perfect. You're just a regular everyday girl. You're not even like a traditional woman at all. You got a high body count. A lot of men have ran through you. It just reminds me of the good old days when you could find a woman who had a cookbook could whip it up in the kitchen and could rub your feet and make you feel like a real man. It's just those days are dead and gone, man. Those days are dead and gone. I feel bad for the new modern dating market nowadays. It's brutal for these guys. 
It's absolutely brutal. We just hit 15K. Appreciate you guys, man. I really, really do. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.